So I'm usually looking around the internet for articles and things to talk about on my channel, whether it be gaming news or whether it be technology. I'm just looking around the internet, whether it be videos or articles, just looking for things to talk about on my channel. And something caught my eye recently. Now, I don't think it's actually an official product because when I saw it on YouTube, I scrolled down and looked at the date and it said March 31st. Now, what is March 31st? Well, March 31st is the day right before April Fool's Day. So most likely it was a prank. It wasn't meant to be taken seriously. But the thing is though, the product could actually become a real product if they wanted to. It's definitely possible. And I read a lot of the comments on that video and a lot of people are saying, yep, yeah, that's definitely an April Fool's joke. And then I also went to the internet. I'm looking over here too about the product. I went to the internet and I saw the page for the product and there was a page for it, but it had no price. It did say you can you can you can leave your email here and we'll contact you. So is it real? Is it not? I'm not 100% sure about it, but I actually wanted to talk about the item right here. Now, what is the item I'm actually talking about? Well, I'm talking about the GeForce GTX G Assist. What what is that product pertaining to? Well, it's pertaining to people who have NVIDIA uh, graphics cards, GeForce graphics cards, GTX graphics cards. If you have a graphics card for your computer, your gaming computer, then you can use this product. Like I said again, I don't know if it's real, I don't know if it's fake, an April Fool's prank and things like that, but it really sounded like a really interesting product. Now basically what the product is, is it's a flash drive or a thumb drive. You've seen those drives that you can put in your pocket, plug into a USB port on a laptop or a computer desktop, and you can store stuff on. Well, it's essentially like that, but when you pop it, in your computer it helps gamers out specifically it basically allows you to walk away from what current game you're playing and it'll control the whole experience for you they had an uh, instance where they talked about maybe uh, you ordered a pizza but you don't want to leave your buddies hanging say for instance you're playing call of duty or you're playing uh, the example they gave you they gave you uh, uh tom clancy's uh the new the, the one tom clancy game that was a uh, that they showed in the in the video. I forgot what Tom Clancy game it was, but it was one of the current Tom Clancy games. Uh, I forgot what game it was, but anyway, yeah, it basically controls the whole experience for you, so you're not leaving your buddies hanging if you have to go get a pizza, or for instance, go get food, or go to the bathroom, or answer a phone call real quick. It'll control. It's basically an auto intelligence, and video games right now already have auto intelligence. That's been a thing for decades, actually. Not just this decade. A lot of games have an auto assistant or a bot. Call of Duty ha has them for years, even to the extent of some new games, especially like Mario Kart 8, kind of drive the cart for you with auto assist and auto acceleration and the no falling off track. That's kind of already auto intelligence at work right there. Even to the extent of like, even just enemies you're fighting in video games. When you're fighting enemies in video games, you are pretty much already fighting a, an AI assistant. They have a brain too. So this thing could be real. One thing I do not believe is, it talks about right here, it talks about all these different modes. It has ghost play. Ghost play is pretty much when it controls your character on screen when you have to go do something like I mentioned. And then it has boss mode where it'll try to beat a boss for you. You can program it to beat a boss for you. So if you're having difficulty with a boss, it's kind of like a cheat code in the game. And the thing about ghost play or pretty much the way like it controls your character on screen if you have to leave, it'll basically mimic your play style. So if you're playing a game and you play been playing many hours, it'll try to mimic the way that you play so it'll feel more authentic to you. For instance, if I'm not too good at Call of Duty and I kill a couple people here and there and I die, it'll try to mimic that. Also, you can, it looks like you can't customize it to your liking. So for instance, if you don't like, you think like it shoots too many enemies or not a few enough enemies, you can change it. You can change it and have like a profile set up so when you plug it in, it'll be ready to go and you can have it set up. You can even take it to the extent of even mimicking like a high level player if you really wanted to cheat. And you can actually just not even buy this for what it's intended for. The intention is for you to walk away and go do something real quick and come back. But I can see people cheating with this item. They can put it in their computer and be cheating. And you would even, there's no way, most likely, uh, most casual gamers or most people are going to even know that you're cheating. So you can be cheating with this item. One thing I, I didn't really truly fully understand was the NV 
nurture feature, NVIDIA nurture. It's basically a way where it signals you to restock food and GTX energy drinks, but that's a sign this product is not real because I don't remember a GTX or GeForce ever selling energy drinks. I could be wrong about this, but I just don't remember them selling energy energy drinks at all. So that's a sign this product is probably not real. So that's why I'm discarding it as not being real. But hey, I could be wrong just because I said before, it says GeForce GTX assist email and age subscribe to GeForce new letter letter. So why would they make you subscribe to GTX G assist like put your email and age down if it was never going to become real? I will say also the design of this flash drive for the GTX Assist looks badass. It looks like a graphics card. Kind of looks like some of those Titan graphics cards. It looks freaking awesome. Like it looks like it can be part of Transformers if you see the design of this. Again, I will leave the link down in the description below if you want to check out this item for yourself. And then we also got a game train. It basically, um, this is a personal game train with Capri Blue. Yeah, basically, the yeah, I was right. It basically, it basically learns your play style so that when you leave it on, it'll mimic you so that your friends and family won't even notice that you're away from from the actual game. And it's pretty cool. Uh, definitely a pretty cool concept. I wish this actually was a real concept because this thing is definitely usable and practical in certain situations. But then again, I can see people just using this to cheat in a game, which is totally not fair. So they have to make. If they're going to make this product, companies have to make a way so when you plug this thing in, it'll detect it and they, like, or they can tell, like, for instance, you're cheating. But I don't know how they're going to program it or the company's going to know that you're cheating because it's very hard to detect cheaters a lot of ways. With so much technology now, it's very hard to say, well, just program the games that you make so that when someone plugs it in, if you program this assist, uh, to uh to basically uh, mimic your play style but you mimic it to play like a pro and you're not a pro how is the uh, development team on the game gonna know that there's almost no way they're gonna know that but anyway this is just a product i found on the internet talking about the g assist g force which i thought was a pretty cool product which is probably not real because the date was March 31st, which is definitely the day before April Fool's Day. And there's no pricing on the item whatsoever. Anyway, guys, peace out. I'll see you guys later in my next video. I'm out, guys.